Hello everybody and welcome to more ASF World Cup action. We are on week 3 and this is the third of a possible four days. Um, so yes, I am Mr. AKI alongside Dr. Eggman here as always to call all the action. There is the current scoreboard and Eggman, both me and Wario must win our matches in this night for there to be a force night. Well, that's why I said I have a possible four. It is the Manix Maniacs. Two members of the Manix Maniacs to take on two members of the Retro Warriors and two members from the Yours Truly Alliance or the AKI Alliance and two members from the Shadows Strikers. We have to win our matches in order for even to be in contention to be in the last man standing match uh, which will be on the weekend on the fourth day and yes, we are focusing in on ladders. So let's see who's going to be competing. And it looks like it's going to be Lisa to represent in this ladder match. The Manix Maniacs who are coming out first. Current women's champion. Eggman, take it away. Take what away? Okay. So yeah, as you were describing beforehand, both of our teams have to win. Because we're too far away from the other two teams. If they win tonight then there's no point for the Fatal 4-Way to come the next to come next because we won't be able to get enough points to even get into the final so we'd only be cont in contention for getting to the final both our, me, uh, our and Wario's teams uh, as in your team yeah my team <laughs> don't forget that yeah it's not my team I didn't make it even though I'm in it but yes I know what you mean I'm the team captain. You are. You're the team captain of everyone. So who's Lisa teaming up with? It's gonna be Bomberman, the uncrowned world champion, as Manic put it. And a lot of other people have put it, in fact. So yes, we both have to win this. To even be in contention. If we win this match tonight, uh, then uh, we have a shot. But we have to win both matches in order to be in the final. So Manic and Shadow have an opportunity here to skip a day of potential scoring to go straight into the final, which will be next week. In that elimination, a big elimination tag with all members involved. And it looks like it's, well, we got Lisa out here, so let's have Amy out here to represent the Warriors Warriors. Well, we got some females in the ladder match. That's a, that's a unique opportunity right there. Well, like you said, uh, I think at the start of this month, you said there was a possibility for a lot of interesting things to occur. And I guess this is another example. With Amy coming out here, and Lisa, for a ladder match. This will be on the ladder match format, where you must climb to the top. Set the ladder up, obviously, inside the ring in the center, and climb to the top and grab the target object. This, of course, being points. Uh, and you get eight points. That has been the theme throughout this entire day, throughout this entire uh, this entire uh, uh, month. The World Cup is gaining points, and this uh, this whole week just gaining eight points for every victory. And it looks like here comes Billy. <laughs> here comes Billy, indeed. How crazy is this individual going to be in a ladder match? I guess we'll about to find out. We certainly are. But yes, this is a must win for Warriors team and he's got Amy and Billy here to try and get eight points to get back into the chase or it's going to be over for them tonight. And the same case with us. Yes, indeed, same case with us. And here we go. All people in the ring at the same time and Billy doesn't seem to be taking uh, much into consideration of who his tag team partner is. Does he even know this is in tag team format? He, he, he might think this is a fatal four way, and we know how he is about female competitors. Well, yes, because so far he's been going straight for them. For both of them. And he's supposed to be teaming up with one of them. I believe that the Manic may have the advantage here, though. We got the women's champion, as you say, and the uncrowned world champion in Bomberman. So, uh,. Now we've got some good contenders here. Amy and Billy are going to have to step up and do something. 
Warrior's definitely, uh, Warrior, uh, Billy's definitely very focused in on Lisa there on the outside, and that was a, uh, a kiss <laughs> that Amy certainly didn't want, a clashing of the minds there on the outside of the ring, courtesy of Lisa. Bombman's got the right idea with getting this ladder involved here, and that ladder, that ladder should, uh, can and will be used as an illegal weapon, or a legal weapon, I should say. It can and it will, and look at this being positioned in the corner now. Yes, indeed. Oh, boy, what happened there? <laughs> Everyone got collided with everything. And Billy seems to still be picking on Amy here. Oh, that's what Billy's going to be like. Yes, he's always claiming to himself that females can't fight. And shouldn't be tough or whatever. And he's teaming up with one and going after the wrong person. Finally, he nailed the right person with a bulldog takedown and bomber, man. And, oh, suplex the outside. Goes the crazy wild Billy, as Warrior puts it. Meanwhile, inside the ring, the females are fighting it out like they should be. <laughs> and Amy goes sailing over the top. Lisa's got a perfect opportunity here right now. Oh, boy. I thought Billy was going to go high risk into Lisa. Now she's climbing the ladder. Lisa's going up, and you better stop it, guys. Billy's on the hunt. Amy, though. Oh, man. Lisa takes the first plunge, and that's a female competitor falling off a ladder, folks. Yeah, that's a rarity, like I said. We're going to see a lot of that. Well, one wonders how much one can take if they are. Not doubting them at all. But not traditional female, uh, not traditional ladder uh, competitors of these females. Certainly not, but then again, Billy is neither. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right that uh, Manix Maniacs have the chance here, being represented by Lisa and Bomberman in this match. And wow, big power slam by Billy. Of course, they've got they're gonna they got the edge here, and Amy's been sent back out the outside. That's the best thing to do. And Bomberman's climbing this ladder. I don't think he's directly underneath there. He'd need to be more in the middle, and I think he realizes that. As uh, Billy got launched outside, Amy uh, Lisa is uh, lying in wait here on the apron for something. Waiting for Billy to get up. Oh, double axe handle. It's going to be very unpredictable this night. Most certainly is, because you never know if someone's going to get to the top, if they're going to take the plunge down, or if they're going to grab what they need to grab up there. Whatever that may be. <laughs> and Billy, I think, is climbing in the wrong place in the wrong time. Wait a minute. Look at the. Oh, jeez! Lisa managed to get out of the way, I think, at the last minute from that huge drop kick from the top. And the crowd has the rightful chant. <laughs> Amy, now with a pressure kick in the ring. And now Billy bringing in a ladder. Amy's found more ladders underneath the ring there. One man back in, stopping Billy there. He was climbing up into the, the, the corner there. Well, I don't know what he was doing that for. Probably wanted to jump off it again. It was so much fun last time. That's Billy for you. He'll do anything. Oh. Even risk his sanity to do some things. And now Lisa, what is Bomb Man doing here? Letting this submission fly. Well, and then again, no, sorry, I'm getting my partners confused now. Oh, man, Bomberman was just surveying the uh, the damage there. And, Bo and uh, Billy comes up from behind. We've got two women almost just about in the same, wearing the same colors, and we've got two guys wearing just about the same colors. Billy even has the same red as Amy's outfit. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a bit confusing with who's teaming with who here. It's red versus blue, but it's not. It's red and blue versus red and blue. Oh. Amy back in. Bomb man. Not laying up, though. Oh, Amy avoids. Uh oh. Another passion kick. Oh, man. Great impact there off that one. And Billy's happy that he just managed to get back to his feet. And Amy goes sailing back out. Courtesy of Lisa. And now Lisa again, tempting fate. Wait a minute. She's up. And Billy, Bomberman is stopping Billy here. 
to intercept, and there we go. Already. There you go. We didn't know if Lisa was going to fall off again, but luckily she didn't, and she's just got eight points for Manic, which puts him into the final. Am I right in saying that? Yes. Into the final, they go. And that means Warriors, Warriors are going to be in the playoff. They're not going to be in the final to decide who's going to be the winner of this World Cup. Which is going to be disappointing, but let's see if we can pull it off next, Eggman. Who should we have? How about you? No, I'm not going to do in the ladder match. But then again, I don't want to do a last man standing match. No, I'm not. I, if, if it comes to doing the last man standing match, I'm going to do it for the team. You sure? Yeah, let's have uh, Scourge and Astroth out. I think they, they're, they're, they're more than capable of doing it for us. Of getting this ladder match victory. Because there you go, Manic has 44 points now. Well, here we go then. It's Scourge and Astroth who just summoned. It is indeed. Well, Scourge has come up a bit short. Astroth hasn't. Hopefully they will be a working pair for us to. The warrior was out of the chase, that's very disappointing. He will not be involved now and we probably won't have a fatal four way, it'll probably be a triple threat. That's if we can pull this off, but I got come on, it's encouraging astronaut. What could go wrong? It depends on who Shadow's got. Oh, yeah, well I didn't think about that. Who <laughs> Shadow's still got left for available members, because obviously he still has three. Well, let's not give away anything, shall we? I can't even think of who they are anyway. Who else has been used in this week from Shadow? Let's not talk about it. <laughs> it's using too much brain power there, right? Just a bit. But surely we could make a triple threat. <coughs> a triple threat match, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you dig it? Getting a big coffee there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Astroff. I've, no, I've never seen Astroff in a lot of ladder matches, but here he comes. You should have put him in the last man standing match. That's his kind of match. I really don't want to compete today. <laughs> I've got a cough. <laughs> I've got an excuse. Yeah. But Astros uh, could have potential here in this ladder match. He's been in ladder matches before, hasn't come up successful. But who knows? That experience may pay off. We'll have to wait and see. Can he even climb a ladder? He's huge. Well, if the Cyrus robot can climb a ladder, Astros sure can. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. We've seen the Cyrus robot come off the, uh, climb up the ladder before and come off it too. Yeah, in the worst way. That was courtesy of Cyrus, though, not me. There you go, that's the kind of guy he is. Alright, who's we facing? Oh boy. Well, here's your equalizer to Astroth, it's Chaos. The god of destruction. Who's had a history of ladder matches and memorable ones at that, with Shadow, of all people. I uh, had a memorable TLC match at uh, ASIF with Shadow for the Intercontinental Ch Title uh, Championship, I was going to say. I could say either one, I guess. You could say both. Yeah, they're a championship title. <laughs> but yeah, Chaos has had experience with ladders. That's a bad thing for our team. Well, we said Astroth has, but Chaos has been more successful, as you say. Astroth's not m uh, known for his ladder matches. And, uh, well, obviously, Shadow's going to pick himself, ironically enough. Are they going to make another history-making match right here? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? We will indeed, but it's Shadow the Intercontinental Champion, team leader, coming out here. I'm so glad I'm not in this match. <laughs> you will be in the first man standing match, though. Yeah, we've got to win this one first. Let's just keep that in mind. I keep saying it all night, it's going to catch on, eventually. <laughs> it was kind of just a joke. <laughs> it was a very effective one. <laughs> well, 
But I got a feeling there's going to be more heavy hitting in this match than there was in the previous one. Certainly, there's no doubt about it. These guys are going to kill each other before the end of this match. And here we go with Shadow and Chaos to represent Shadow Strikers taking on our team of Astroff and Scourge, the AKI Alliance, that being. And here we go, and it's Astroth and Chaos to obviously gang up on each other. And Scourge and Shadow taking on on their separate ways. Astroff sent to the outside already by Chaos and knocking the ladder over in turn. And Chaos already with this ladder that was introduced that's put on the ramp side there. Though there are probably more inevitably underneath the ring. Well, we saw them earlier. We saw them a few moments ago. Will they be reintroduced into this match? It's inevitable. And all be everyone's being flung into the corner here, and chaos. Oh, man. Big clubbing shot onto Scourge. I would definitely divide and conquer in terms of this. Shadow needs to keep his bay from Astroff, and uh, I think uh, Scourge needs to keep a bay from Chaos. Because they're evenly matched. Chaos and Astroth, I would say. These two have never competed together. It's a unique match in itself. More uniqueness coming out here. No denying that. And Chaos, oh, focusing there on Scourge for momentarily. And uh, Astroth, thank you, helping Scourge back up. But Chaos brings it back down. And oh, swinging neck breaker. And, oh man, Astroff just launched Chaos flying. Those two are going to be mauling each other, and you know it. Spinebuster by Shadow on the other side. And Chaos just lays in, continually lays in these, these shots. Best way to take out Astroff is just beat him senseless before he does it to you. Yeah, I've got a feeling there. Can he control Chaos here? No one can control Chaos. Both figuratively and literally, and the person and the... Oh god, I think that did it though. For DDT by Chaos on, on the on Chaos on the outside and Scourge, wait a minute, he was up! Oh, oh. And geez, Shadow taking uh, measures here, knocking Scourge off, and then going to the apron and hi giving a high knee to Astroff, knocking him back off into the clutches of Chaos. They come back into the ring now, though. Chaos sets the ladder up in the in the center of the ring, and Shadow again with another high knee. Trying to take Astroff down there with the Bulldog. And oh, counter with the suplex. And oh, back in. That, that got him back into the match aggressively. Certainly did. And Chaos with a huge suplex there on Astroff. Shadow seems to be working the knees now, Scourge. Good strategy, perhaps. It's harder to climb a ladder after you take the legs out. Look at this. Oh, man. Astroff used that ladder as a weapon. And, oh, Chaos knocked into the ladder and, oh, God, sandwiched by Astroff. <laughs> Using his weight to his advantage, for sure, and his size. Wait a minute, Scourge. Oh, Shadow almost got a, a chop lock in there. Oh, man, Chaos takes the, the, uh, the side of the ring and Shadow comes out. All this action spilling to the outside. And oh, Astroth again takes a high knee, knocking him off, off his perch there, getting back into the ring. And oh, Scourge comes down with a double axe handle from the apron. Chaos working over on Astroth. Oh man, a big boot by the monster of mass and destruction. Wait a minute, Shadow's got another ladder here. And Scourge is up the top again. And oh, Chaos knocked him off again. That's Scourge's second fall from the ladder. Well, I guess then he's dead. At least for now. But come on, he's got to get back up. Support support your team, Eggman. Well, seeing as this is a tag team match, I guess it should be a team player. For once. <laughs> Please. Again, Shadow working over the legs. Not good. Astroth got laid out on the outside again. Chaos may be looking to climb. But he's got to deal with Scourge. But then again, Scourge is being currently dealt with. And Chaos is up. Come on, someone get in there and save us our eight points. Astroth! Oh, managed to get in there at the last minute and Chaos is down. And, oh, an ultimate pedigree on Scourge. 
so that he get him as if he hasn't dealt with enough already in this match. And a headlock, wait a minute, oh, chaos. Got thrown out by Astroth. And now just, come on, attack him. And Shadow, oh, he's having trouble lifting up Astroth. Chaos certainly doesn't have that difficulty though. Now he can't lift him up. And Shadow gives up, at least for now. I don't know what happened there, but the ladder just flew over to the third row of ringside. And Skurin seems to be taking control now. Turns Shadow inside out with that huge clothesline. And Chaos delivering some heavy elbows to Astroth, keeping the big monster down, at least for now. Momentarily. Taking his shots in while he can. Because you don't want Astroth standing up and next to you. That's a bad thing. Certainly don't. And, oh. Okay, Chaos is having a funny turn in the ring. I guess he loves the mayhem. Chaos always loves the mayhem. Shadow is still trying to pick up Astros. Oh boy. <laughs> well, he managed to just about lift him off his feet for that rib breaker. Scourge comes out. Oh, Chaos with a double axe handle off the apron onto Astros. And, oh, he counters. And Chaos counters. And, oh, with a big scoop slam right next to us. Yeah, and stay out of the way to hell from us. We're trying to work here. Yeah, here, here, I guess. <laughs> Chaos stamping his feet down as he sets the ladder up. Shadow sets the ladder up in the corner. Chaos has other plans. So much they're working as a good team. That's positive. And uh, Shadow having his way with Scourge, at least for momentarily there. In the corner. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, Astroth. Astroth bomb! Over there and Scourge! Oh my god! That It was a kind of sick flip move from the top rope. That was that was amazing. Can we see that again? Well we have no instant replays here in the SF. But everyone can always use this the the, uh, the scrolling bar at the bottom of the screen due to the handiness of YouTube, which is what we're broadcasting on. <laughs> right. And Scourge's legs being worked on again by Shadow here in trying to immobilize him, so to speak. And Chaos goes straight back to work with those elbow drops. And oh, big suplex on the monster. Man, Chaos and Shadow, I believe, have been in... Well, for the majority, they've been in control here for the most part. And Shadow just persists with this attack on Scourge's legs to make sure that he, he secures these, these eight, eight points. Which obviously we do not want to happen. Astros with a vicious DDT. As he got back up there. Picks up. Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh Astros. Oh saw Chaos coming. But a bit too late there. Swing and neck breaker by the monster. And. Reversal of the Irish whip. Astros ducks underneath. And doesn't do anything afterwards. There we go. Oh boy. Oh man. Big power bomb, big power bomb indeed. Oh, Astroth gets the chop lock, managed to drop the big monster down on his cam, and now Scourge came back in at the wrong time to get another ultimate pedigree. Irish whip reversed. Oh, Shadow goes all the way sailing over the top there from the force that Astroth threw him, and oh, into the corner. And again, we find Chaos with another sandwich in the corner. Another Astro sandwich, not one you want to order at the deli. Certainly not. I wouldn't want that on the menu, to be personally honest. <laughs> no thank you, Bob. <laughs> I thought that was no Siri, Bob. Whatever. <laughs> Swing and neck breaker by Chaos and Shadow is just being relentless here, like a pit bull just keeps picking on the legs of Scourge. He should be picking on the legs of Astros. I guess they're just too big. Oh, so he's at least trying to immobilize one person. He's doing a good job of it so far. Scourge is feeling for those legs and somehow Chaos finds it the willpower to go to high risk there and missed with that flying headbutt. Oh man, just high risk everywhere here in these ladder matches. Well, we said this one was going to be high impact and indeed it has been so far. Scourge. Oh, we need a ladder in the ring. And uh, 
Shadow might have the right idea right now. Trying to look for one on the outside. Here we go. Chaos into the corner. And Astros, where's he going? Going to the top. Oh boy, what is this now? Look at this! Oh! This is almost like a techno slam from the top. Or, uh, yes, techno slam. I was going to call it by its actual name there. Is that copyrighted? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Everything's copyrighted today. Even me. <laughs> And, oh, Shadow actually managed to pick up, sorry, I forgot, I, I didn't, I failed to address that. Shadow managed to pick up Astroff there, that was an amazing feat. Lift him off his feet and give him that somewhat of a back suplex. And, oh, Ka uh, uh, Chaos got belly to bellied overhead by uh, Scourge. He's showing his, his athleticism. Come on, guys, we've got to win this. I'm being the team player now. And Shadow comes back in with a spear right through the ladder, right into Astroff, and now he feels comfortable to take him on. Oh, can he lift him up again, though? He's, he's trying. Oh, no, he can't. Oh, wait a minute. Scourge is climbing the ladder. Come on, you got to make it. That's it. Scourge is up. Scourge is up. Chaos is in, though. Oh, he missed. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Scourge again. That is his third fall in this match. He's taking all the sacrifices here. When's someone else going to do that? I don't think Chaos and Astros ever want to climb a ladder. Because when they come back down, the ring will probably break. No disrespect to how big they are, of course, but <laughs> the, win the ring can only take so much weight. And oh, there's already a ton of mass in there with Chaos and Astros. And now, no, oh, Chaos launches Scourge outside the ring. Oh no, I thought the Chaos was going to turn on uh, Shadow there. Wait a minute. What happened there? Everyone's down. Chaos is up the ladder. Oh, we got it. Dang it. What does that mean then? What does that mean? It means we lost. Which means <laughs> there is no fatal four-way last man standing match. I apologize, everyone. Oh, dear. That is bad news. But at least we got the final, right? We got the final and we got the playoff, which we now know is going to be, sadly, our team and Wario's team will be to decide who is third and second, who is the third and fourth place, I should say. But the final, it looks like, is going to be Manic and Shadow. Let's take a look at the final scores here before we bid you adieu. Adieu, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Amazing match, though. That was definitely high impact, as we said. And Scourge took a lot of sacrifices there for us. Yeah, I give the respect to him, but the ending points were 44 and 40 for Manic and Shadow, respectively. We're gonna, we're gonna have to see you later, guys. But next week, it's gonna be the playoffs and the final to see who is coming in all the positions. We will see you then. Good night, and thank you for watching.